What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your Xbox Logitech G920 to your PS5 so that you can play it, uh, play all your PS5 racing games using your Xbox racing wheel. Um, we are gonna need remote play for this, um, but that's okay because you can actually still play the game on your local screen and just ignore the fact that remote play is running. We're just using the PC as kind of a receptacle for our racing wheel. Uh, before we get started, um, if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are over there not subscribed. Um, if you can hit that sub button, I make lots of cool videos like this, tech tips, tricks, all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and if you like this video, you might like those. Uh, so let's get on to the video itself. The first thing I did is we installed um, VGM Bus. And uh, basically what this does is it allows, it's a driver, first of all, that mimics an Xbox controller or a PS4 controller. Um, in order to use anything in remote play, we need a PS4 or PS5 controller. So we need this driver to act like a PS5 controller. So you're going to download and install this um, using the 64-bit setup. And then we're going to use this VDX um, in BuildBox Vision. And this is actually going to um, find any X input controller and let you choose whether you want to make it act like a 360 controller or a DualShock 4 controller. Um, finally, we're going to use Xbox CE to pick up our um, Logitech steering wheel make it into a X input device and emulate a 360 controller. And then if you can see where we're going with this, use this to convert it to a DualShock 4 controller. It's a lot of work, but essentially um, what you end up with is a Xbox controller that can actually uh, control the game. And you can see, uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, get my wheels going. You can see that the wheel is actually affecting the driving. And if I hit the brakes, we're stopping. And I could turn. And everything is working as expected. So uh, let me actually close the game. Oops. OK. So I don't want the game going right now. I'm going to show you the setup itself. So after you go ahead and install that first driver, you're going to download this VDX.exe. And then you're going to download and install Xbox 360, X360CE. And let's go to that page, X360CE. All right, configure racing wheel. No. Oh, it's wheel settings turning. So we want to go to Xbox 360CE. And we're going to download the all games version. And you're going to get to this. And what you want to do is you want to add a controller as controller one and choose your Logitech racing wheel. Once you've done that, you just want to map the buttons. So I went ahead and mapped the um, Y, X, B, and A, the right um, joystick I didn't do anything to. I mapped all the left um, D-pad and I mapped the... Um, the rotation to our left stick and if you want it to be the full 900 degree rotation you can do the full axis so we can go to axis um, and go to axis six and that will mean we have to go all the way around all of it in order to get the full one um, but we can actually go to axis and go to half axis and it will allow you to go to the ends without having to go all the way. It's a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, that's how you can set up the movement. And then you want to do the same thing for the triggers. Set it up on your um, uh, pedals. And once you have everything set up the way you like it, you can go ahead and go into this and click on Connect. Once you've connected it, it'll say Connected. And make sure it's set to DualShock 4. And then you can run Remote Play. And once you go into remote play, it's automatically going to detect the PS4 controller and let you use it in game. The only thing that you might need to do is go in and adjust the steering sensitivity because it's not going to be as, as clean as it is in a normal racing game if you're just emulating the joystick. But you can get it very, very close. All right. And you can control... Um, force feedback as well. You might notice that it's already on and kind of like making it hard to turn. You can go over to force feedback 
um, and enable, and you'll see that it loosens right up. And you can set your force feedback settings, which I re recommend lowering these to um, a smaller amount, something around there. And then um, what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it um, turn in one direction or the other and emulate force feedback. You can even adjust the direction. So if we say positive, it'll turn to the left. And if I choose negative, it'll turn to the right. So I can make each motor do something different and will emulate as if it were happening on the controller. So it's it's a really nice translation of force feedback. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments to save me a ton of money um, trying to buy one of those drive hubs. And I was able to do it all software based. So hopefully it helped you as well. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Peace. What? You've never heard of Stream Savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers, and it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.